Hey, hey, what is going on, everybody? All right, um, everyone's been asking about this, so I figured it was time to give an update on both the really long <laughs> soak of uh, aluminum steel and now rubber into the uh, E85, as well as a couple of people have been asking a lot about this one. What about the methanol? Well, today is actually January 2nd, 2020. We are just shy of a year, but I've uh, been leaving a couple people hanging for a few months and whatnot, so I thought I would break this out and say, okay, it's time to take a look at it. Well, let's see what we can see here, guys. So again, just an ordinary piece of rubber, just regular old vacuum hose, uh, a piece of aluminum, and a piece of steel. Just uh, regular old cut stuff, not anything too fancy there. We'll uh, bring down the flashlight here. Let's take a look at it and see what it looks like. So again, this has been a year worth of a soak. The thing probably the most uh, noticeable right away, if the camera will focus there, uh, is this kind of milky solution at the bottom of the jar really kind of some strange stuff in there but uh let's open it up and see what we've got now oh my gosh the lid is really on there oh okay well i will tell you it has affected that lid because that was harder to open than your standard pickle jar but uh let's take a look let's see what we've got in here so for starters try not to get this stuff all over me here all right so aluminum what do we got in aluminum well some kind of weird goo on it. I don't know if that's from the aluminum breaking down. Oh no, that's crystalline. Oh my gosh. Wow. All right, let's check this out. This is very crystalline. Wow. Very interesting stuff. It's not, uh, it feels like grains of sand or maybe even salt, guys. Uh, that's really kind of what this feels like. I mean, looking at the material itself, I mean, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and grab a paper towel here. And we'll clean this off just to see if maybe we can see our our line here. What's the difference, right? All right, let's take a little bit of a look. Yeah, a bit. There is an ever slight difference. I hope the camera can actually see that. I hope you guys can actually see that. Every so slight, just a tiny little bit of what looks to be pitting in the aluminum. Not, not too bad. Well, maybe, I don't know. If it's there, it's extremely, extremely light. It just looks very minimal from where the uh, the fluid line was looking at uh, looking at the steel same kind of a thing although some odd discoloration not real sure what to make of that right maybe someone smarter than me can reply in the comments and tell me what in the world's going on there i mean looking at the uh, you know the fuel line or the fuel you know level that was there that uh, definitely discolored the steel a bit but you know no rusting which is kind of nice that's kind of a neat little thing uh, let's take a look at the rubber here and again guys this is methanol this is 100 percent methanol that was in here if you remember my previous video when we started this um rubber feels like rubber um it's not coming apart in my hands or any of that stuff i'm actually pretty impressed i honestly i was expecting rubber to be annihilated to be quite honest with you i don't know why but i just was um I don't even see like where it was sitting. I mean, you can see right here. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus in a little bit better. Where it was sitting, that was the level of where the uh, the methanol actually was. But hey, you know what? We're gonna throw this back in here. We're gonna leave it. I mean, it's been a year. Why not keep it going? And I know a lot of you guys say, hey, there's some galvanic corrosion going on there. You got aluminum touching steel. Yeah, let's see what it does, right? Because you're gonna have aluminum touching steel. Go ahead and put the lid back on that. Again, guys, today's uh, <clears throat> the 2nd of January, uh, 2020. Happy New Year, by the way. Uh, this was put in here, 113.19. Um, let's give it a, a little swirl. <laughs> man. Some nasty stuff floating around in there. Again, kind of that crystalline type stuff. Uh, we'll jump over to the E85, take a look at it. Um, it's actually been in here, if you can see that, uh, 8... 16 of 08 we added the rubber back uh, September 14th of 2017. Let's take a look at this guy see what uh, see what's in here So taking a look at the rubber uh, Still just rubber same thing uh, about the equivalent of what uh, what we saw in the methanol not anything Too bad not anything too bad at all I mean, It seems totally fine. I mean, it's not let's give it the old swiper test, right? Let's see are we able to get, oh yeah, there you go. Look, so it is eating it just a little bit. You know, standard rubber, I'm going to say, is not the best thing in the world uh, for alcohols in general. You know, just to kind of keep that in the back of your mind. Looking at 
the aluminum, still the same thing. We saw this before, right? A little bit of kind of gelatin in there, a little bit of jelly type stuff. Looks about the same as it did, quite honestly, I think a year ago when we did this last video. Um, still just that weird jelly that you get on the on the components, probably just from sheer age, right? Again, back over to this guy. Now, I think we're all pretty much aware now that, you know, we're talking about any type of fuel that absorbs water, especially alcohol-based. Uh, you're going to get rusting. It's going to happen, right? I mean, that methanol has not been opened at all in a year. Uh, this guy's been open, I don't know, a dozen times or whatever it is over the span of these years. But, uh, yeah, still hasn't you know, it doesn't eat it away or any of that stuff. I mean, it's not acid. doesn't completely destroy it, right? So we're going to put it back in there. I uh, just want to give you guys a quick little checkup on all this wonderful stuff. Let you know that the test is still going on. We will leave this uh, eternally. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, so I've got questions, comments. Throw them in the comment section down below, guys. Subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you back. And uh, hope you guys enjoy it. See you on the next one, all right?